seller call filled out form website I can't get to the phone right now. If you want to leave a message, that would be great. If you want to shoot me a text, that would be great too. Thank you. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for. Hello. Hey, uh, this is Rhoda. Is this John Cochran? Yeah, I actually. I was oh, just. Sorry. I was just calling you. I um. I didn't get to my phone in time. <laughs> no, it's good. It, it was weird. I was just getting ready to uh, to leave you a. Uh, a voicemail. So, okay. so hey, I, I saw that you filled out the uh, the form to sell the property uh, in Dayton. Um, can, I mean, can you tell me a little bit about it? Okay, so I got it through a trust. Um, it was willed to me, I guess, apparently some years ago, and um, I really didn't know anything about it until after the man passed away. Uh huh. So uh, my brother's like, hey, you know. Dwayne Gaffer left this to you. I'm like, nice. Okay. Well, what it is is, um, I it, it it was a trap house. If you know what a trap house is, of course you're in real estate, so you probably know what that is. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, it took me like six months to evict the people that were in there because yep. they were squatters. Yep. Okay. And I was going through all that whole situation, um, and finally got them out. Um, but the, the, of course they left their trash. Right. So there's trash in there. I mean, it looks like one of the dogs or something had some kind of anxiety or something. I mean, I, I just, I don't have time. I, I can't fix this place up. I don't have the resources to do that. Mm-hmm. Um, I just, I just don't. And I, I don't have the, the manpower or anything. It's just me and my kids. So my little kids. So I don't have any kind of, I, I don't have time for that <laughs> headache. Do you know what I mean? No, I, I know exactly what you mean. Do, do you know how the mechanicals are in the house? Um, yeah, I mean, the electric works and the water and stuff works. The piping's not ripped out if that's what you're talking about. So, did, did you get it winterized or anything like that? Is it what? Is it winterized or anything like that? Um, I, no, I don't think so. Okay, because I've actually... Because so, as soon as I, as soon as I you know, had them leave and I went inside there, it was just like, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah. So I don't even know how to winterize a home. So I don't I don't know anything about stuff like that. When when was the last time you were in it? Probably about um about two months ago. Okay. Um the only reason I asked is because it's it's been cold and um I've been in a couple of homes recently. Um mm-hmm where actually recent is yesterday where um pipes burst because didn't get winterized there's water in the lines and um it, do you know if the water was shut off of that i do not know i do know that there's people i mean that's the other thing too there's people in and out of that house so like they'll break in there they'll break in and stay the night there yeah like homeless people and stuff so yeah it's because I get calls from the neighbors, you know, telling me about that. But gotcha. Other than like winterizing a house, I, I seriously doubt it. I don't know. I, I don't know if the water's turned off or not. I don't know. I, the electric, the electric is turned off. Uh-huh. Um, so, um, yeah. Okay. Um, yep. No, all that makes sense. So it's a two bed, one bath, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah, when it was first built in, like, I think it was built in the turn of the century of the 1800s. I think it was, like, 18-something, uh-huh. like, early 1900s. It was actually a two-bedroom uh, cottage. Uh-huh. They had, a, of course, a front foyer where they used to do, like, funerals and stuff. Back in those days, you know, they did funerals inside the home. Uh-huh. So the front, you know, so actually you can – it's actually a three-bedroom now if you – can, you know, because you don't use a foyer anymore, but it's actually listed as a two bedroom. So it's li- it's listed up online, but it it's really a three bed. Yeah, because of the, I guess Dayton doesn't count that front parlor as a bedroom. <laughs> I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know how, I don't know really anything about real estate, you know. So like I said, this was just gifted you to know, you. Yeah, it was a gift to me, and I. I mean, I don't like to look a gift horse in the mouth, but I, took, hmm, I don't think I really I put, want to do this. 
Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. yeah. So, so what do you want for it? Um, is, well, I was going to pay the back tax on it, but I just can't afford that. Um, so I was just going to say a thousand dollars. How much is the back tax? Thirteen hundred. So thirteen hundred, and then the, um, so you're okay. looking at twenty three hundred is, is is what you would be looking at. Um, yes. Yeah, I, I would definitely want to get in into it and see it. Um, you know, to check out. You know, has there been any water damage or anything like that? You know, is the water on or whatnot to, to make sure there's not any flooding because it's got a basement, doesn't it? Yeah, it's got a basement, but it's not like the typical one. It was the ones like the old cellar-looking basement. Yeah. Gotcha. Oh. So stone around the – for the foundation, all that stuff. The what, pardon? Like stone around the foundation and all that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm familiar with it. Um, yeah, when, when would uh, you be able to show it to me? I'm assuming you got keys or whatever. Are you Are you busy today? Um, I think I actually kind of live close to you. I, I live, do you live in Xenia? Um, I used to live in Xenia. Um, I, I live out in Brookville now. Mm, so, okay. I'm in um, Beaver Creek. So, um, I'll tell you, um, I could probably go and see it around 1230. Around 1230? Yeah, or one o'clock, something like that. Okay. Um, I have the, I put, so if I can find my... My keys, I because I put locks and stuff on the doors, <laughs> but of course I changed the locks. But of course that didn't, you know, work or anything. So we could probably actually get in there because I, I guarantee there's been people in and out of there. Yeah. You know, so it's it's not a very good neighborhood. So. Yeah. Um, so right. well, let me let me ask you that. So um, what are you going to do with it if 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 we don't buy it? Like what what's what's your what are you I don't gonna know do? What else to do with it? I even called the Goodwill and see if they wanted it, and they're not even set up for it. Yeah, they wouldn't do I just need this thing. thing out of my hands. I don't want to bother with it. I mean, if you don't take it, I'm going to give it to a hobo. <laughs> I want to give it. To, I mean, honestly, that's my last resort. Is I'm going to go there, and if you don't want it, I'm going to sign it over to the people living there, and say, "Do you want this?" And we're going to go down, and we're going to the courts, sign a quick claim deed, and it's going to be theirs. Because I, I can't. There, there's no other way. But at the same time, I would like to have the money because, you know, I'm kind of living with my aunt right now and I don't have my own place. Sure. You know what I mean? I, I can't move in there. I, I'm not taking my kids to the east end of Dayton. Sure. No, I understand. You know, so I, I need that money to help me get my resources together so that I can, you know, move out of my aunt and my uncle's house. I've been here for like 18 months and I can't do this. <laughs> no, I understand. I understand. So, um, yeah, what what time uh, would you like to meet me there? 12.30 sounds good. I can do that with you. Okay. I will uh, be there at 12.30, and uh, we'll go from there. Awesome. Thank you, John. You All right. Have a great day. Yep, you too. Bye. Bye-bye now. I don't know. Is she motivated or not? <laughs>